Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Game Night's New Champions Protocol where we are slowly wrapping things up as the world comes to an end. The uh, uh, heroes present for tonight's game are uh, Pan Paper playing Ghost, Brian playing uh, the Hotshot, Rampage playing God, Zooks, what's his name? <laughs> Sand Crab. Yeah, Sand Crab. And then Silk Hyde with his uh, um, so-called army. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> the entire memory of a civilization. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, um, and... Uh, Tonight's episode, I have named Ra Ra Rasputin as the heroes are heading back into Russia to uh, to deal with uh, a potential new energy source that has been um, talked about by the group Division. Um, so Ra Ra Ras Rasputin, aka also known as AKA, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> I just had to get that in there. Okay. So, our heroes have gathered in um, Homestead and are um, making plans with somebody from Division. And I've lost my notes. That's not going to be fun. Okay. So, um, the, the group of you are together in, um, in Homestead, and you have a scientist who's come over from Division, oh, Jason, do you remember her name? I can't find my notes. Wasn't that Lizzie or Liz or something like that? Yeah. Ooh. And she is a she is a cold fusion expert, and uh, th the notes that you guys found in previous games um, have been compiled by her, and she put them into a certain order so that not just anybody could read them. And it, it looks like it's all circular, and uh, she's not revealing the how it all comes together because. She's not overly trusting of anybody. That's why she is here with you. And she does tell you that the source for uh, compiling this all together is over in Russia, not far from St. Petersburg. Oh. The question, of course, now is how are we going to get there? Um. Well, Sandcrab could volunteer to carry everybody through the earth to get there. A ghost can fly there. Don't mind, uh, you know, small places. <laughs> Confined spaces. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghosts can fly there on her own, and if anybody can hold their breath in, in vacuum and survive, you know, hard space, uh, that can work. Lies in um, yeah, mega scale teleport times eight mass. Say blind ten thousand kilometers. Oh, that would work. No, forty thousand kilometers. I mean, she pretty much go anywhere. Can you bring anybody with you while you do that? Yep. How do you um, how do you see your target? Well, so it's safe blind. So if someone tells me where we're going, we're going to get there. <laughs> and hope for the best. Oh look. Hope for the best. <laughs> and just cause that's hot. <laughs> well done, well done. Yeah. So if anybody wants to put a you know, something on the screen of where we go or something like that, she can. For, for safe line teleport, don't you have to make a target roll? I believe you do. Sure. I think we've had this discussion. I think it depends how purist you want to be. Safe yeah. <laughs> line means that you're not going to get into trouble. You may not be where exactly where you want to be, but that just means you have to retarget again. Right, but um, if you fail, if you fail, you're off by as much as your your teleport distance, which means if it's across the world, you could be a world off. 
You're on the moon. It depends on the degree that you fail, though. No? It's like if you mm -hmm. fail by one. Uh, well, uh, if you fail by one, you're off one of that distance you teleported. If you fail by two, you're off two of that distance you teleported. So if you teleported ten thousand kilometers, you're about a foot away from where you were in Homestead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does have fixed locations, so uh, if we were to get off, she could teleport somebody back to, to Homestead pretty fast. We could do some other way. I'm not. It, it was. It is, I, I, it vote is for, I, I vote for hand waving. It works. <laughs> But that's not nearly as much fun as, oops, I did it again. <laughs> Our first trip was to the moon. Our second trip was to Homestead. <laughs> well, actually, we ended up in Mars. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> we wouldn't end up on the moon, actually, because I don't think it... She doesn't have that distance. It's probably not a safe place to go to, either. Is Dave still here? Okay. So somewhere, somewhere in this mess of things that you see in front of you, there's a round to it. When are we going to get around to it? The uh, many of the textures on top are like white. Is nice that theme. What intended? The white is awfully white. Yeah. But it does look like a snowy theme. Oh, is the that walled, what it is? It's snowy. The walled, it's a walled city. Yes. Come on. What's going on? I feel like this might be a part of the Kremlin. With some damage, because the Kremlin's a walled compound. So a lot of these textures, some things aren't loaded. That's what it is. Okay. So I I posted in the player chat. There's the round to it. And somewhere in this scene, it's, it's here. Because I had something that showed up as an error, and so I replaced it with that image. And then I went hunting for it, but I could not find it. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. So over here where the great big snow pile is, I'm pinging. This is where you will start off. Oh, our successful blind teleport. See that same guy? Yes, I am a believer. <laughs> <laughs> glad my vote count. I take it our figurines are the correct scale? It looks like it would be. Stabilize. Something we should get set up. On. Just for a moment, I'm going to put Ghost beside a car. Your shoulder should come to the roof of the car, right? Something like that, yeah. Or your armpit. Yeah, I just lost Ghost. Where? <laughs> oh no. There's a tent over here that helps too, I think. Did you find Ghost again, or? No, I, I was scrolled too far in when I tried to move her. I have no idea where she wound up. Okay, hang on a second. Of the day, for all I know. I got her. Thank you. Did you. Just drop her beside the taxi for a sec. Besides the taxi. Uh, it's all right. I, I think she's the right scale. Yeah, looks like it. Use a measuring tool. Looks like we're about two meters tall. So I put you over here beside sand crab. Pretty good. You can see. Yeah. And.
And the hot shots there too? Excellent. Oh, I suppose I better bring an object to represent to my scientist, eh? Do I have a scientist? I have a female lab coat. <laughs> you do? Uh, can't seem to make her stand up, but sure. Well, we think you have the stabilizer over here. Did you guys... Oh, yeah, you're still... You are still, um... Promoted. Okay. All right, so you land up over here. And um, Elizabeth tells you that you need to find um, some old tech machinery. It's probably going to be run through pistons. And um, so if you guys could do a search. Oh, it's cold up here. Search through the, the, the building area. It might be over towards where that crane is. I don't know exactly where this oh, unit will be. Okay. So you can use his awareness and see through the ground and buildings and stuff like that. And uh, to not get penalties from where he's standing, he has uh, uh, telescopic, cool. a bunch of levels in telescopic <laughs> to offset any type of penalties. So basically, he's going to be looking and he'll, uh, he'll manifest. Uh, with his um, holographic emitter, he'll, he'll manifest a, a searching tool and uh, view the area through that so he can get plus three to his roll. Okay. And I think that'll put him at like a... Uh, now of those here present, who has your bug? Oh, the, uh, uh, the mental link? Yes. Mm, let me see if I have that noted somewhere. Maybe only ghost. Only ghost. Uh, no, I think uh, rocket does too. Rocket's so not rocket here though. Oh, okay, so ghost. Rocket's does, rocket's not alive anymore. Oh, oh, I, I, forgot. Oh, I oh. saw him on the table. I got confused. Oh man. Oh, he's probably alive. He's just somewhere in limbo, the oh, negative man. zone or whatever. <laughs> That's a lot of things. That's a lot of things. Um, with the comic book, comic book readers. Thing. Yeah, I think only ghosts. Okay. But you're able to speak while you're looking around, no? Yes, I am, yeah. And I can also project a holographic image of what I'm seeing while I'm looking around so that people can see what I'm, where I'm searching. If I find something, I can pick that up. <laughs> um, so, anyway, the bottom line, I believe, is... Uh, it's an 18 or less roll with the bonus from the emitter, and I have lots of levels to offset range, so you want me to give it a roll? I do want you to give it a roll. Is any of this building's lead lined? <laughs> yes, it would, it would not be, I think it's force, is it force field or lead? I, think I can't remember now. So X-ray vision is both. No, no, I think it's, I think it's lead. It's not, it's awareness. Okay. And no, wait, did we go with lead? I can't remember. I was just trying to throw a wrench in their plans. I, 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 think, I, think it was, I think it was lead because I believe you tried to look through one of those old boats in the, and, yeah. and they had a lead-lined paint that gave you a lot of grief. Yes. That's right, yeah. All right. Um, now if I can just find your roll. It's been a long time, folks. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Roll maker. There we go. Uh, to hit? That's fine. Um, hmm. No, 
No, there, where do you? Where's the skill roll for perception? Perception roll. Where is that? It's, it's it's the the very first one under skill rolls. Yeah, actually, it's the first one under skill. Rolls. Well, plus three to this. Okay. So whatever I rolled, three better. So I made it by ten. Alrighty. And if you have a range offset, I can tell you how many telescopics I have to see if I can cover it. I'm sure I can at this range. I'm sure you can too. Because I don't think the range modifier for this is... So the furthest point from you would be at about a hundred. Would that give you any minuses at all? A hundred according to the grid. A hundred by the range modifier would be minus ten. And I think I have more than that in telescopic, but let me double check. Uh, hundred is only negative eight. Okay, negative eight. Sorry, my my character sheet's wrong. I have plus sixteen. Excellent. Okay, so you uh, you scan through, um, and a lot of the walls here do have lead in them. You can still see through because the 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 buildings are in really bad shape. Mm -hmm. um, the office buildings, which are off this way, um, old castle type thing, uh, over around where the crane is, that's where you believe you need to go This. Um, what's underneath that building? Um, a complex underneath it? Does it look like there's a tunnel or an elevator or anything like that going down? Nothing that's usable. No, but there is a shaft. There is a shaft. It goes down about uh, a mile. Ooh. All right. I'll bring up a holographic image uh, so that the others can see what I'm seeing. So they can see that uh, on a display um, what that building looks like and the, and, the, and the thing going down. About a mile, right? Yes. Eliza says that's terrifying. Is is there a is there like a is it just go to like a well? Is it like a well or is there like a complex down there at the end of the mile? Um, there was as as you uh, as you're searching down and through the um, the walls are crumbling. You're not sure whether if you were to, to try walking through there, how securely it would hold together. It's, it's very old. Ancient, it's an ancient structure that seemed that about, say, 20 years ago was repurposed for whatever reason. But is now crumbling for some reason. But, but well, it's now crumbling because it's, it's, uh, well, it's been attacked, but... <laughs> okay. Is there a way right. into that shaft from the building? Is there a door? I can tunnel in. Um, but in the in the main building above ground, um, are there any people in it? Not that you can see. All right, but that's where I think the machinery is that we need to, that we need to get. Okay. Hey, let's head that way. Um, okay. I guess since I was showing everybody the holograph, I'd be above ground. Um... Do we want to tunnel in, or do we just want to approach it and see if anybody's here to attack us? Uh, can you tunnel in without making too much vibration so as to cause it to collapse? Uh, well, tunneling, I would imagine, causes some vibrations, but um, 
No, I, I can't stop the vibrations. I can only stop the sound. Mm -hmm. But the top, the building itself above ground isn't that decrepit that we couldn't tunnel into it without it collapsing. The shaft, on the other hand, is very decrepit. Is there a door or some sort of opening in the building? Well, maybe you guys need to get closer. Um, Lysen will suggest that uh, if, if we walk slow enough, she can detect the minds of any individuals nearby. Okay, uh, Ghost will endeavor to restrain herself. Because <laughs> moving slowly is not kind of Ghost's game. Sankrab yes. will, will think to Gross, um, you're able to fly through walls and stuff like that. Maybe you, as a D-Solid, you could just go through the building and check it out. A ghost does not go to solid unless <laughs> he's super liminal. Never mind. I think that was Rocket. I redact that. <laughs> oh, if Rocket were only here. Yeah, I mean, so uh, I guess if the group is willing to wait on... Like, how slowly do you have to move in order to do that? Basically, we take cover. I mean, she yeah. would just do it. Crab's just going to jump over to the building and see what's up. Ah. Crab. The bump. All right. Make it to hit roll, please, Sandcrab. I've got uh, accurate on my jump. Excellent. Uh, and, and just for fun, can I can I land right underneath that that uh, yeah that thing that crate? <laughs> Worldwide transports. <laughs> Inviting danger. <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> I've done that sort of thing. <laughs> well, if they know we're here and it's a trap, well, now's the perfect time to trigger it. Oh my gosh, the hubris I'll of our, delay my our second characters. Half of these actions. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, uh, uh, Lysen is going to change into a Briel form, uh, the mind reader form, and she will um, kind of come next to this building over here in that form. And she's just basically trying to walk down slowly, but as she's doing it, she's doing her little detect. Um, detect oh. human minds. Okay, so can you group. can you move your character? Mm -hmm. Get over here. I've taken Lysen off the. Oh, you don't have it as um, one thing it's, that. No, no, because it's. The, it was it was too complicated. Yeah. Well, I have it. It works for me sometimes, but some other people can't see it. So here she is in a brutal form. Okay. And she's trying to be, you know, stealthy over there, but I don't think she actually necessarily has that. So she's just kind of being as careful as she can. And, but she is looking for mines all around. Okay, so Lizzie says to Hotshot, are we supposed to go with them? Are you supposed to be my guardian? The hot shot will return to Lizzie uh, in the typical deadpan voice. I got your back. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> so she starts moving along. Oh, well, so we'll, hot shot will follow, picking yeah. up the rear. Okay. And her little red. Swirl. Do you want me to make a detect roll? See if I see mines or are there any mines around? Yes, make a make a detect. Make it's a detect. penetrative. Okay. It's sense targeting. Wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, 
Did it roll? No, but how would I just do a sixteen or less? Roll my turn. I'm just gonna roll three dice. Okay, so I succeeded that too. Okay. Um, at this point, you can detect only the minds of your party. Does it matter that it's penetrative? It does not matter at this point, no. Okay. Who is Abril? Abril is, that's one of uh, Lysen's forms. So Lysen is now uh, a brill. Different people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, you didn't know this, did you? Well, I know I I I'd understood that uh, she could change forms, but not that she could be two people. Interesting. Be four people. Hmm. All right, uh, Ghost. Oh, are no, you I'm just fine. are you just staying put, or are you? Um, I'm staying with what I perceive to be the weaker members of the party. Well, you're way ahead of the weakest member of the party. <laughs> that would be the scientist. I'm, I'm trying to be equidistant to them all. Let's put it that way. So I can reach anybody in a pinch. All right. So time passes. You guys get all... Bring, bring your minis down to where Sand Crab is. Well, I'd like to act before they get down because sure. What are you wanting to do? Because if the if the doctor gets down here or the scientist gets down here and she's in combat area, then she's at risk. So that's why I went ahead to see sure. If there's any danger. There is there is no other people here at this point. All right. So the people that I see as a as a non as a person standing on top of the building, they're not there. Where it says heavy. Weapons, Weapons squad. squad. That is correct. Well, actually, oh, okay. there there's a body there, but it's deceased. Oh, that's sad. So this area it was shelled or something like that. So it's, there's a lot of destruction and broken things around. Yes. Okay. okay. Um. Like, like, as you can tell from the look of the buildings and everything, um, everything was pretty badly hit. Except. Except for the crane, and it it looks like at some point in time it may have been used as a uh, a war games place. Interesting. All right. Well, if I don't see anything uh, that looks uh, dangerous at the door, I'll just go up to it and pry it open. Okay. Oh, come on, you. Make a strength roll. Uh, yeah. I'm starting Succeeded off with some pretty good rolls. Seated by a 17. Okay. So, you, uh, you start to force the doors open, and as your your um, claws dig into it to the different sides to to make it open, parts of the wall start to crumble. And you're if you keep going through on this way, you're not sure what effect that's going to have. All right, and the and the things that we need to get are important. Why? I'm sorry? The things that we're searching for, the, the machines, they're important because the doctor says so, or the scientist says so, because they're a cold fusion part, yes. part of the machine. Yes. And getting them is so that nobody else gets them? Uh, getting them is because, as far as I know, this is the only place they can be gotten from. And, and we need them for what, or are we just trying to stop somebody else from getting them? We need them so that we can have the energy source and stop Destroyer from getting hold of it. Gotcha. Okay. 
in that case, I'll Ghost go around. Ghost is in front of a door, or what appears to be a door. Yeah, I'll go around to this side where Ghost is. Okay. And I'll just... Is there like a door handle or something? Does it, does it look like it would be safe for me to tunnel through this wall right here? Not particularly, but I do want both of you to make a perception roll. There's a puppy dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Succeeded by a couple. Okay. The, um, the door that you're at is rusted shut. However, further over here, there's a doorway heading down that it looks like it's rusted like all the other areas. However, it's rusted paint. Somebody has tried to disguise it as an unusable door, but you do see that it is it is quite usable. Where are the other three? So, uh, Lysen in a brutal form would have been making her way down, checking for mines all along. Okay. Uh, she made her way down here. If there were no mines around, she would turn back into Lysen form. Okay, well, before you before you do that, make your detect roll, and everybody make a perception roll, please. Another one. Another one. Oops, wrong roll. Succeeded okay, so by I, one. Now I succeeded on my detect roll by. Succeeded by six. If there's any range penalties, again, offset by. Okay. Um, you succeeded. Did anybody else succeed at such a nice number? No, go succeeded by one. Okay. Okay, yeah. Sand Crab, after you have found the... Um, Why is it always black temples? The doors, the, the door that, that is being hidden, you can hear the muffled sound of Black Talons approaching. Or the muffled sound of Black Talons approaching. Like what direction? Uh, this direction over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got 360. Yeah. And spatial, so I see them basically. Yes. All right. I'll. Uh, they're, they're coming in, but they are not in a close formation where one shot could take all four of them out. Uh -huh. I'll send a, a mental image to Ghost so she can see what I can see <laughs> of the black talons on the roof. Okay, well, uh, I guess Ghost has a job to do. Okay, so... Well, and... um, I'll, uh, if I can, still soliloquy. Yes, you can. I'd like to uh, radio through our our um, fob to uh, Hotshot and, and Lysen. Um, if you two take the dock down this shaft, Ghost and I can take care of those talents while you try to get the, uh, the machinery. Um, so we'll do. Alrighty. Mm. Okay. So, segment 12, Sand Crab, you detect them coming in. Okay. I'm going to go for the distract. Okay. Um, let's see. This is why. They are flying, by the way. Oh, good. I like that. Perfect. I'm going to do a half move jump onto this building. And it's going to be a big arc jump so that for sure they see me. 
<laughs> okay. Land right there. And clear the ceiling. And I'll delay. I think he's giving himself a cover bonus there. Yeah, I, I, I am doing that. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a guy here. Who's he's this? Dead. He's, he's dead. dead. Oh, a dead guy? Yep. Where's, where's the tilt, tilt tool? The lay down is there. Yeah, I, I got it. You might have to unlock him first. All right. Uh, two of the black, black talons come moving, flying towards Sand Crab's location. So from here, how come it lost that? It seems like every time I have to resave the uh, the measure movement. Hmm. Does anybody else have that oh, problem? You know what that is? You you don't have it checked, and then every time you import the that figure, you have to do it again. So what you need to do is resave the figure with it checked. Ah, okay. Yep. Very good. All right, so. So these two come upon you there, Sand Crab, mm -hmm. and they are going to attack. All right. So where, where are they? They're on the bridge right there? One is on the bridge here, and one is on the building behind him. Gotcha. Well, they've got range. I've got half cover. I think I'll just go ahead and... See if they're a good enough shot to shoot me and keep on delaying. Okay. Bring it. <laughs> you rolled hot. Oh my goodness. Yes, I did. I hit a DCB of 15. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so. Well, that hit me. Uh, does a does a thirteen hit you? Does a thirteen hit me? I have a DCB of eleven. So he hits you three Oof. times Oof. with his destroyer beam cannon. First one does forty seven thirteen. Second forty and ten. And third. 48 and 14. Okay, I'm going to take some stun. 47, 40, and 48? Uh, yes. These guys, guys got an upgrade. <laughs> you haven't been around for a while, have you? <laughs> huh. um, what kind of attack was that? It's called a destroyer beam cannon. It's an energy. Energy. That figures. <laughs> of course they wouldn't hit me with anything physical I could absorb. No, no, no. That would be far too far. <laughs> uh, does uh, you have a DCV of 11? So the second one at the back tries to hit you with a uh, wire, like an entangle, but he missed. Okay. So he, uh, he successfully entangles the the... Uh, sand pads in front of you. Okay. Uh, I'm still figuring out my damage here. Hold on one second. Sure. All right. Now I gotta check to see if I'm stunned. That doesn't combine for stun, does it? No. Okay. I'm not stunned, but. I might be knocked out. Hold on. Well, I have five 
done left. <laughs> I'll take my action. With any consolation, uh, it is greatly simplified ghost targeting decisions. <laughs> um, I, I'll take my action. My, oh. my other my other half phase action. Sh sure. I will tunnel straight through the building into the ground. <laughs> All right. Close the tunnel behind me. <laughs> All righty. Thank God it's phase twelve, and I get a free recovery. Best time to get hit. Man, that was a gnarly attack. An auto fire. How many dice was that? Uh, twelve. Yeah. Twelve, twelve dice. Six. Hmm, not that bad. Just hit. Just really great rolls, I suppose. I I got lucky. Oh, no, wait a I did my math wrong. Ah uh, 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 Hold on a second. No, forty-seven to forty-eight. Yeah, those are great rolls. Yep. Seventeen. I did do, I'm 10 off, so I have 15 stone left, not 5. Still a good idea to get that recovery under cover. Oh, yes. Alright, where's my that thing? Oh, that's right, we have it on the thing here. Help. We'll make him pay. Mm -hmm. What you doing in twelve, Ghost? Uh, is it my turn? Oh. Uh, right now it's the Hot Shot's turn. Oh well, yeah, right. Well, the Hot Shot's um, I guess knows that something's going on, so I'm gonna say uh. You can actually see there are two... Uh, if you make a perception roll, you might be able to see two black talons over here. Yeah, I didn't make a perception roll, but somebody was saying something happened. Uh, there was some kind he... of mind link or whatever. Uh, and well, the I'm mind guessing link is only... I'm also uh, aware of that this hole has some something that we're after, so... Hey, come on, Professor. Really, we gotta go. And I kind of grab her by the scruff and start dragging her over this way. Okay. What's your your strength? Thirteen. Okay. You can. You, she's she's a she's a brain, not a not a brawn type of character. So you can easily grab her and and drag her away. Um, I'm not dragging her. I'm just kind of saying it's time to go. So when when she's ready to move, we'll. Okay. So, more or less, I'm just delaying. Sounds good. And you're as a Brill, right? No, when she got down there and didn't see any uh, brains, um, she turned back into Lysen. Lysen? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you are delayed. Wells is not there. Ghost. Okay. Um, well, it's probably not a very good idea for Ghost to be uh, uh, dropping her DCV. Um, she's going to be doing a, a multi-attack on Black Talon uh, number four and Black Talon number three. Uh, make that one and that one pretty much in a straight line. And then she's going to be 16 meters beyond Black Talon number three. Uh, yeah, she's going to she's going to be winding up somewhere around here, a little bit below the uh, building elevation, just a tiny bit. So that she's doing a passing strike on both of them, but maximum combat maximum combat velocity. Um, so uh, on the first one. She hits a DCV of 13. Oh, I'm sorry. No, she hits a DCV of 11. I'm sorry. Why is it um, saying DMCV for you? Okay. Uh, and 11 uh, still hits. Yep. The, the mod has been changed. Right? There's a conflict between mods somehow. This is a problem we encountered last game. Where things were coming out with DMCVs. Changing that number. Second to hit roll. 
hits a DCV of uh, 12. Yep, that would be two hits. Okay, so uh, damage on the first one is in the process of rolling. 76 stun, 21 body. Ow! Nice. Yeah. And damage on the second one is less impressive at 67 stun, 18 body. It's not really less impressive. <laughs> and they're flying, so you're going to oh, yeah. roll one for your knockback. All right. Uh, two, because it's a martial attack. Okay. So um, first one is uh, 21 minus six for knockback, so 15. Second one is... Uh, 18 minus 10 for like that. Alrighty. Well, um, enough to get them over the side of the building, though. And Ghost ECB is now 6 right now. Best time for those multi attacks is uh, segment 12. Cause, well, that attack cost her 19 endurance, so she gets it all back with her post 12. Yay. Ghost has 100 in endurance, and it's not enough. <laughs> well, that's very true. <laughs> it's amazing how fast she burns through that. <laughs> All right. Um, this Black Talon who had flown forward and only did a half action is going to choose to activate so that he can shoot at Ghost as she goes flying fast, head and all her buddies. That's a miss. That's a miss. <laughs> does a nine hit you? Uh, well, here's the question: uh, Does the uh, net, does the half DCV occur before or after she connects? You know, I have no idea. Why, while you're doing the maneuver. Okay, well, I presume then that, you know, that that includes while she's flying towards the target? I would that suspect so, yeah. Because that's all part of the maneuver, right? But that doesn't make a lot of sense if only while, because no one's ever going to get to attack. You know, that, that negative DC really never matters. It's only while you're in the maneuver. Uh, no, no, it, it persists after the maneuver until you right. next It's the phase that you, once you initiate, once you initiate the action. Okay, okay. so you're, you're happy. Okay, so what happens, Ghost, is you hit, you hit the two um, black talons. One of the, there's four black talons. One of them misses you. The other one successfully entangles you. Oh, lovely. Okay, so you are um, surrounded by Destrium wire. Destrium wire. Yes. Do I get a passive strength to see if it disappears, or is that on my next phase? Uh, well, you've already gone this phase, so yeah, you're okay. you're gonna have to try to break free. All right, so. That goes, Lizen, your turn. So, Lizen, uh, you see four black talons, two of them apparently taken out by Ghost as a, as a one-shot against them. Um, they got a really good 
hit on Sand Crab and he disappears into the building. And and then you see Ghost get entangled by one of the the other two still conscious guys, and it's your turn. Well, what do you know? I, I do have a question about your attack on me. Did see, you give me the half cover. I I asked you what your DCV was. Uh, I'm recalling it hit with a, it hit a DCV of thirteen. Well, I had fi- I had DCV? I had fifteen, thirteen, and eleven. So my DCV was eleven. I, I, I don't know what the half cover gives me. I think half cover is. But let's just roll with it. I'm good. Okay, I I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to tie up time to look up what the cover would give you. It might have been a plus two. I think that's what it is. So that means one of the hits wouldn't have hit you. The last one. The last one. The, the forty-eight. The All big right, one. Adjust, the big one. I'll, I'll adjust my son. Okay, Lizen. Okay, so um, Lizen, um, uh, for first of all, it matters. Without that last hit hitting you, would you have tunneled down, Sanka? Yes. You still would have tunneled down? Yes. Okay, cool. So, um, Lysen sees him get hit, tunneled down, and the same for Ghost getting entangled. She will um, put uh, energy around uh, the Hot Shot and Lizzie Shu. Uh, giving them uh, well giving them uh, resistant protection does that move with them so it is not a usable nearby it's usable by other so grantor can grant the power okay Uh, so if uh, they keep moving they'll still have access to it that's right I did not buy it usable nearby which would require them to so I placed it on them. They're going to go do something else. Um, but they have 11, 11 resistant protection now. I presume that's plus 11, plus 11. <laughs> I, yes. I would take that for granted. <laughs> no, no, you got minus 11. You're easier mm-hmm. to take damage now. Okay. So um, with that, um, that's turning on an offensive power. Um Lizen will ask over comms if Ghost and Sand Crab need assistance. If not, she will remain with the mission. She will wait for them to respond back. They can respond right away. Yep. I'm okay. Uh, I can get out of this, but it's going to take a moment. You want to be defensive. Okay, so we are going to continue. She's basically going to make sure that they, we will, were running over to this little... Um, this little door thing. Right. But I don't you're, think we you're, can... You're going to be running instead of maybe grabbing and teleporting? Well, so... Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, I've got four meters mega scale, but it doesn't say that I can't change the scale. Can you use that in in short distances? Uh, not really. Me- scale mega scale takes an extra phase. Probably. Also, you can't use mega scale in combat. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't have a... And it's just a haven't bought it yet don't have a way to um, pull them all together short distances okay so we are running all right so um, I'm going to have uh, Lizzie going as the Khazar warrior at the bottom of the turn here and so she's going to run her 12. Model Z. And um, Lysen's going to hold her her rest of her action. Um, well, if your your defensive action was putting the the field to protect them, is that a, a half phase? And then running is the other half phase. Probably turn uh, on a power zero phase. Yeah. So basically, oh, okay. She's gonna, is instead of running, she's just going to um, 
be looking. Basically, she's going to try to deflect any attacks that come in at them. So she's going to hold and not run with them. Okay. Um, but just hold the deflect attack. Now, right, so I'm sorry. So I was gonna I was gonna say, um, hot shot. During one of the last games that we played before this event, you had grabbed the flight jet from one of the destroyer agents. Yeah, I actually did that after the last one. Right. So you have that I if do. you want. Yes, if you want to use it. Oh, what I want to do is make sure that uh, Lizzie Shu and the Hot Shot make the straightest possible line over up until we can hop over these sandbags to provide us a little bit of cover. That's step one. Or you could just go straight to the door. I don't like, think that I have that amount of running, and I doubt Shu does either. You have that amount of flight with the jetpack. I don't think that Shu has that amount of running. It's Correct, you but if like... you grab Shu and fly with her... Oh, I don't think I would do that. Okay. I, I think I would run for cover. Okay. But I get where you're going with that now. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> I'm getting in my head there. So, what are you doing? You're directing her, so you lead her where you're wanting to go. So that's, um, she can move 12? Correct. So that, that just gets her onto the other side. Okay. And she dives up underneath behind the um sure like head over heels and i'll follow right in there come on where are you what's that ah. and i'll grab the snowflake and we're both sitting down behind the sandbag wall with our heads between our legs <laughs> okay <laughs> Very good. And um, so, Lizen, are you doing anything with your half action or no? Yeah, she will. Um, are you still holding uh, it? Uh, how much can she teleport over there? That's 26. And she's got 34. So she will teleport 16, hold her half action. And she's basically standing here. Uh, Still holding that last half of these action to deflect if she can. Okay. So that's segment 12, post segment 12 recoveries. Mm. Yay. How <laughs> <laughs> you doing there, so <laughs> Oh, much better. So not having been hit by the last one brought him up to. Uh, If I can only get back to Tabletop Simulator, it'd be great. There mm. we go. Um, brought him, and, and the recovery brings him back up to 48, so he's only 12 down. Not used to getting hit. Mm -hmm. That's true, eh? <laughs> He doesn't get hit very much. Usually he's underground or he has a hold of somebody. Or he's positioned himself. I mean, I made myself a target on purpose. So It it worked. You were a target. <laughs> I deserved it. All it's right. much better to do the hitting. Mm -hmm. We'll see that in a few minutes. Segment two, Sand Crab, it's your turn. Once again, under the breach. Will over. If you want to hang out with us until I'm finished the game, I'll take you home. Number three and four are no longer where they currently are. Where are they? Well, right now, they're, they're still standing where they were when Ghost hit them, but there was an appreciable, an appreciable amount of knockback on all of them, on both of them. Right. They also have knockback resistance, though, don't they? They do have 11. Uh, yeah, but I think they've only got 10 inches, or... 10 meters are knocked back, and there was like more than that done on each of them. I 
thought that's what we were saying. Is that they've got knockback resistance of 10. Yeah. You know, yeah. 6 and 10 on both of those 2 dice 6 rolls. And they have 10. So 12 to 10 to... What would that be? Two. Seems to be knockback resistance. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> 10 meters. Right. So Stack Grab does actually have enough tunneling to get over to the plane. From directly below the bridge. So, I don't know how to get under there. so they didn't get knocked back because you didn't do enough knockback, or they did I get did, knocked back. I did. Uh, I Six and ten. So no, twelve I, I minus ten, two meters. Well, it was more than one. ten. It was more than ten. I don't remember exactly how much though, but it, it was an impressive amount because I rolled. Okay, um, I, I did yeah. twenty-one body on the first attack. And I rolled six. You would have to I scroll up. You would have yep. to scroll up to find out what you did. Yeah, except I can't figure out how to scroll on this. Uh... That's okay. So 15, 30 times minus 10, 20 meters back. And 16 minus 10, 6 meters back. Yeah, so that's 20 meters right. back on one and, and 6 meters. Okay, so this guy would have fallen there, yeah. and this guy would have fallen probably over there. Oh, marvelous! <laughs> but they are—they are. They are um, make a perception roll, sand crab. They are both out. Their their systems are shutting down. Beautiful. In that case, I'll stick with the plan with a different target. Okay. Sand crab will tunnel up to right here. To right where? He will use his stretching to grab the number two bulk of this plane. Oh, okay. <laughs> lift it up and throw it onto these two guys here. <laughs> it's big enough. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's really big. Are you strong enough to lift it and throw uh, it that far? I think I am. Uh, a strange I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to turn off my absorption to do this and uh, go 100 strength to rip that thing up and throw it on those two guys. 100 strength to do it almost with passive strength. Well, I didn't know if it was buried or not. And I've got to break through this building to do it too. So. It, it, is, it is buried in the snow. And if you... I'll, I'll, rip, I'll, I'll rip that part of it off, whatever. I, okay. As long as I have enough of the, of, the, of the plane to hit both of those guys, I'm happy. And if I don't, it don't. It, that's my plan. I'm sticking with it. So... It's frozen into the ground, so my suggestion is that you rip the wing off and throw the wing. You might, okay. if you get a really good roll, you can get both of them, but you can definitely get one of I them. Mean, I, I imagine the, the frozen to the ground, I mean, it's a, it's a steel plane, I mean, yes. I guess, I don't know, yeah. Um, if I can only get one, I can only get one. I'm going to try to get the plane up. I can use, could I use my tunneling to help unbury it? Uh, like that a, that, that make, a, make a power skill roll for that. Sure. It wouldn't all happen in one phase, though. Yeah, then forget it. I will <laughs> rip up as much of the plane as I can. Okay. And if I can only hit one, then I can only hit one. Okay. Okay. Um. Got any luck dice? <laughs> no, I don't have any luck dice. Uh, what do you want? A strength roll? Yes. Uh, that strength roll is going to be plus six. So you succeeded it by 16. So yes, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> Even without the plus six, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you rip, a, rip the wing off and you throw it at number two. Sure. 
Okay, so make an attack roll. Against the hex? Yes. Yeah, no problem. Okay. From where I'm at, I could actually not throw it at him and just use it like a big fly swatter. That sounds like <laughs> more fun. Okay. Yep. So you're going to try to send bam, him bam. into orbit, eh? No, flatten him like a fly swatter. Okay. Down. Bam, bam. Okay. Mini sun crab into the ground. This is how the tunneling works. <laughs> <laughs> you need further instruction. Okay. So what is your effective strength? A hundred. Okay. So if you want to roll uh, a 20 dice attack, I will give that to you. Well, since it's the end of the season, I would love to roll a 20 dice attack. <laughs> I don't think I have ever rolled a 20 dice attack in this game. Dice. 20. Is this how this works? No, that's not right. That's plus. Uh, dice here. Four. Not a great roll, but I'll take it. Uh, that's two above the average for 20 dice, by the way. Yeah, but you rolled less dice and did that much damage with your movement. Go move by. Uh, well, no, the, actually, the, uh, the passing strike. Great, 20 you got dice a great roll. Did. Beg your pardon? Uh, ghost passing strike, if she's doing maximum combat velocity, is 20 dice. Oh, is it? Okay. <clears throat> and last time she rolled. Uh, Significantly higher than 70 and uh, a little bit lower. She rolled a 68 on one of them. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, that's some endurance usage. Hunter strength cost 10 endurance. <laughs> Bang. I was amused at the thought that what 10 endurance would be a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of endurance. And I have it split up pretty well, but still, if you think about a combat and you use 10, that's a lot. Who else moves on two? Eliza, you have a held action. Yeah, she's going to keep holding it until everybody gets to the to little shoot to go down. She may lose her held action, but she does, it's fine. Okay. I'm going to draw the imprint in the snow for the uh, for the wing. <laughs> I think that's fun. I think that's awesome. All right, you're out. All right, so you're the only one still standing. So he's going to fly around over here. The ghost is still entangled. You might know that. He's an awfully pretty target right now. Okay. I will give him a perception roll to see if he sees that you're entangled. Failed by four. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Sand Crab. I tried. It's all right. I got like at least half cover from this wall. Okay. <laughs> Sam Crab will look at that guy holding the wing in his hand and, and like, you know, really? <laughs> Ta taunting him? No, that would be like a presence attack. <laughs> so he shoots um, an explosive flechette and it hits your wing and takes the weapon away from you. It destroys it. He was using that. <laughs> but that's the end of the Black Talons turn. You were saying it's the end of the Black Talons. It could be. It could be. Uh, hot shot. The doctor doesn't move yet. 
I will tell Dr. the doctor here? <laughs> to stay put, and I'm going to go over and look at this entrance myself. Okay. And I, I also look at her, and I say, by stay put, I mean keep your head down. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So you're going to go over there. I run over here. Okay. Do you have... Um, security systems? Nope. I have bureaucratics. <laughs> oh, you're going to talk it to death. I get it. Okay. Negotiate with the door. Yeah. Does it look like there's any sort of latch or uh, a key or any of these other things or like something that can be turned like a lever to open this thing? Okay, what, so what, what first off, first off, make a perception roll. Okay. <laughs> so you you take a look at it, and this looks like it's rusted shut. That there's no way you're ever gonna get this open. So you kind of. You kind of are annoyed because both Sand Crab and Ghost said this is the entrance. Obviously, they were lying to you. Well, that's what we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some good interactions happening now. I'll get you! Okay. So I will stand there looking at this rusted door uh, and wonder how they ever thought that they were going to get in here. Well, you got your heater. I, I do. <laughs> you could blow the door apart. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my 8d6 would do it. But And furthermore, I think the DM is leading me into something he wants. I don't understand <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I'm totally awake of that. I'm also getting wow. faced down by a bunch of guns. Negative view, really man. Good. Negative view. <laughs> well. All right. I'm just assuming that from here to there. Let me let me get my measurement tool out and see how far. I'm. Let it draw. That was tab, right? Tab was measurement? Yep. Or F4. F4. I don't think I've ever done F4. And then F1 to go back to the pointer. Oh my god. I just don't do this enough. To even be able to function. Measure movement. Okay. So that was... It took a full move for me to get there. Okay. So that's that's what I do. Woo! Love being out here playing the, the nerf hot shot. I'll see you in six. <laughs> Ghost. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> so if you want to try a casual... You can get a, a free casual roll to break out. Is there any penalty to taking a free casual roll? Um, it, if you don't suc successfully break out, then it doesn't do any damage to the... Okay, but I can then use a regular move to try and break out? Yes. But then it's your move, right? Yeah. No, he can try to break out, and if he breaks out by more than full PD, you get a half yeah. action. If you break out yeah. by double, you get a full action. You don't have to do a casual. Okay. I'm just going to do a full... Uh... Although technically I can still fly right now, right? Yes. So I could just charge into the remaining guy and let him take out the... Yes, uh, I love it. <laughs> okay, she'll fly up to get a, her bearings, see this guy, and... Uh... Make your perception roll, yep. Mm. Oh, so you fly up, 
You fly up and you do not see him. Can I use a hero point that we didn't roll for? Uh, no, I, I, I'm not going to do hero points with this game. Okay. Okay. So I fly up there and I have no action. Is that correct? Um, I'll have a half phase action. But yeah, you used a half phase to get up there. You can try to break out on your own. All right. Seeing as I can't see what, anything else to do, I will do a strength damage roll and crap out with a body roll of, I think, that's ten. Just ten. Yeah. Oh, that's a sucky roll. Okay, so you go, and that's when you discover that Destrium is much stronger than you thought it was. It it does not snap you free. But does it do any body damage to, uh, to it? It does, it does do a little bit of body damage to it, yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. There is no Abril. There's no Throm. Lysen. Okay, um, Lysen is holding waiting for Lizzie Shu to run. So she's kind of like looking back and holding and still trying to get cover. Uh, oh. Lyson will also ask um, if Hotshot, if, if she needs help ripping open that door. The Hotshot will reply, it looks rusted shut. I, I think with some force it could be a uh, Sand crab will, re will reply, "That's just a uh, fake rust. It's actually the actual door. Look a little, look a little closer. They've <laughs> just painted a rust-looking paint on there." He's lying. He's obviously lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what? I'll, I'll also add. I thought I told you to stay down under cover. We've got to get inside yeah. this thing. I can't do it from over there, can I? Okay. It's fine. No one else listens to me. <laughs> Lyson will ask, "What's what is immediately beneath that? Is it is it a direct gown? Can we, um, you know, I can teleport the group just a couple of meters um, together." Sure. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah. if you if you you have the does Lyson have the penetrative vision? Uh, no, but she's asking the group. Like, is there anything right beneath it? You know, um, I could show it to you if you had the nanite. <laughs> uh, However, uh, I, I've offered it, and you didn't take me up on the offer. Yeah, if, if he actually says that, she would say, as brilliant as you are, you should invest in holo hologram vision, hologram glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so is it safe for us to teleport immediately beneath the door? That's what she will ask. Yes. And that's something that Sand Crab would have known because he saw beneath it. Yes, so so um, the space underneath there is it's only like a, a, about a 15 foot drop. There is a ladder um, that you could have climbed down and it's a, um, a, a cubicle room and it's actually got some high tech um, way out of place, high, higher tech, um, way out of place um, technology here that than what uh, you would expect. You mean sort of like two of these things belong together and two yes. of these things don't? Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, so Lysen will ask where, how far down do we need a portal? Okay. She's asking that over the open comms. Oh, uh, I, I'll see right. Looks like about 10, 15 feet. Yes. Mm, she can't portal that far with them. So well, uh, to get past the door, you only have to portal uh, three feet, but then you'll have a 15 foot drop. There's you, you can do four meters and four meters is 12 feet. Uh, okay. So we're, I would just tell everybody, be warned, we're going to drop a couple of feet at the bottom of this. Um, and then... <laughs> Twist your ankles! Get... Yeah, so what, that's what she'll do. She will move over with half a move. And then um, with the rest of it, she will group teleport down four meters. Okay. 
Which is a safe point. Um, so make a dex roll. If you fail your dex roll, you twist your ankle. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Can you do a break fall if he fails his dex roll? If he has break fall, he can just do break fall. Did not, did not fail. Lies and didn't. What about, oh, Lizzie Shoe, did she hurt herself? Yeah, Lizzie Shoe hurt herself. You shouldn't go into a combat scene in high heels. <laughs> what are you doing? That's because Hotshot was showing off. She always wears high heels. She has to look that red. <laughs> oh, that's part of her, her special effect. That's why she gets the plus CD I and mean, plus presence. So, Brian, are you there? Yeah, what's up? You're supposed to make a dex roll. Or if you have break fall, you can make a break fall roll instead. There you go. Excellent. Okay. okay. Can I try to break, uh, take some damage to try to uh, help Lizzie Shoes uh, fall? No. Okay, well, I'd asked. <laughs> I tried. Here. I tried. Oh, come on, you. Segment four, Sand Crab. Hmm. guy that I hit with the wing, is he out? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. He's well. I will scramble over the wall or through the window or whatever over to this guy and grab him, flip him over upside down and knock his head in the ground. Well, that's rather mean, don't you think? Sand crab <laughs> unleashed. <laughs> I'll shift my back, I'll shift back to my absorption and I'll only hit him with 70 strength. Only? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if his, I know his attacks were upgraded. I don't know if his armor was. Um, he's got to hit first. I think I have four levels in hand to hand. I might have five, but I'll just put four in for now just because I don't, don't want to check it. That's a hit. Hey. Ooh. He might actually still be conscious. Okay, Ghost still needs to rid herself of this entangle. That's true. Were there more of these guys or just these four? Uh, just these four. That we know of. <laughs> Nobody else moves on four. Segment Ooh. five. Ghost, you get to go again. Yay! You get to get rid of this entangle. Ghost charges the one in uh, um, uh, Santa Crab's hands. Oh, yeah, zero DCB. You can't miss. Yeah, so <laughs> You'd be surprised. To, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. I won't be. 18, 18. Let's go to 18. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Don't hit me. <laughs> uh, she's doing a charge. She's not doing a passing strike because she wants do damage to this entangle. Oops, shit. I've got a pl I've got plus five uh, on this roll that I forgot to input. Uh, currently, he's at oh. a DCV of zero, so I don't think it matters. Okay, but... right. I guess it doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> um, so this should clear the entangle. We'll see. Twenty-two, 22 body. body. Holy crap! Yeah, that'll clear the entangle. Um, All right. I I don't know if I can hold on to him with that hard of a hit. Uh, nope. Kind of you, you definitely can't. 
Uh, well, 70 strength, but still. Well, you know, between his hold on strength and its natural uh, knockback resistance, it might actually not go very far. He's a bonus of his knockback resistance, but I mean, he's, he, I'm holding him, so I imagine he's like not on the ground right now. Wow. So does uh, knockback resistance work when he's being held or in the air? Uh, I don't know, but it sure was a lot of knockback. Uh, how much knockback was it? 15. 15? Oh, d doubled because uh, my hold, my grab on him only did uh, thirteen body, so um, I okay. think you knocked him out by two. So you're oh, holding, uh, you're holding on to parts of his armor. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the gun parts. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, if I get my way. That's <laughs> those. Machine guns just broke off. I'm sorry. All right, Lysen. Yeah, I think I'll say to Ghost, you know, two for two. Two for me, two for you. You had to come over here and steal my glory. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Well. It, it, was was it, it was tongue in cheek. How's that wire <laughs> rip off? Does it come, does it come off? It, it Yes, he, he demolished the wire, yes. <laughs> And, so, and this, communi this communication will be through the psychic, through the uh, mind link, so that they can speak to each other without, you know, without the girls knowing, without the, without the radio, no, without the you know radio signal or anything like that. It's easier. So what do we see uh, down in this little room? Okay, so down in this little room, there are um, there's a a modern laptop. And uh, uh, let, let, let me rephrase that. The down in, in the room, the uh, the technology here, whereas all the the rest of the technology in this this area is about thirty or forty years old, this is more recent. It's more like twenty years old. Okay, and so there's a whole bunch of um, um, pistons and other. Uh, mechanical gear down in this area. So um, Elizabeth uh, pulls out uh, what looks like a Star Trek uh, tricorder. Um. And she pulls a cable out and she plugs the, the cable in and then she's looking around on, uh, on one of the pedestals and she finds another plug-in and she plugs in there. And then she starts playing with her uh, with her device, and um, she pulls out the the pieces of paper that had the um, the formulas on it, and she takes them and and she she puts she puts the four of them down in front of her, and then she 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 studies one and then she turns the north facing one and then she turns the east facing one and then she looks at it again and she kind of rubs her head and she goes no 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 and then she turns so she turns these papers a, a a number of different times and then she goes that's it and then she starts to type um the uh the tricorder creates a um a virtual keyboard on the desktop and she starts typing and you can see um, this code appearing uh, after about a minute of her typing the um, there's a, a shudder as some of the pistons in this area start moving she says yeah. stand stand back this could get dangerous for us <laughs> Are we trapped in here? Did you do this? Did I? What? <laughs> Are you causing these pistons to move, or do we need to get out? We, I am causing these pistons to move. Do we need to get out? Not yet. We need to activate this. While this is going on, uh, Ghost has uh, permanently rendered the Black Talon suits un inoperable. Sounds good. Preferably so, without killing the occupants. Lysen will speak 
to the group. Uh, we are underground. Lizzie Shoe is creating, uh, she is causing the pistons underground to be moving. She says we need to, Al basically says everything that, that was just said so that they are knowing. Okay. Lizzie, tell us where to be. If those can do all of that before these things start moving, she'll actually be nearer to well, yeah, to, everybody else. The, these, these suits are, um, the armor has been upgraded, so it actually will take you probably a couple minutes to get all okay. of them apart. Even okay. even with Sand Crab helping, uh, no between problem. the two of you, you can do this because the guys who would operate the, the outfits have been knocked unconscious. Right. So the suits themselves aren't fighting you guys. Um, so we will continue to dismantle the suits. Okay. Um, Lizzie will say if we can get that door at the top open so that when we need to get out of here quickly, we'll be able to do that. That would be helpful. She says that mm-hmm. to um, um, Hotshot and Lizen. So and I think Lizen would clearly say to the group, we're going to need someone to rip this door off. I got you covered. Sand Crab will jump over there and whip the door off. Okay. So, Sand Crab... Actually, I've got, I've got security systems, actually. I want to check the door with security systems first. Okay. <laughs> okay, make a security systems roll. Skill roll. Just barely, yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, you fiddle with the the security systems. It's it's twenty years old. This is stuff that you had worked on um, when you were a professor at university. Some of the 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 algorithms and stuff that they they use to create the security oh, oh, system. So case, it's, if it's if it's that old, um, I'm going to use my uh, my perk. Their passwords are obvious. Access <laughs> to Viper security systems. Awesome, that works. <laughs> and this has got oh, what is this? Ba- where is this base located? Uh, just outside of Saint Petersburg. Oh well, obviously the password is STP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, and you get the you get the door to you guys down below. You hear it groan as the mechanism unlocks, and then the doors are lifted open by Sand Crab. Okay, and uh, I'll, 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 I'll I'll hand down a couple of claws. Anybody need a hand out? <laughs> uh, not yet, not yet. Um, so. Uh, Lizzie keeps uh, tapping away, and the pistons—they're um, firing in the the sequence of a V8 engine. And so it's like uh, one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight, and then it, and then it it continues, and the pistons get faster, and as they do, smoke starts coming out of the the device where the the crane is. As you can can see the smoke coming out of the the cylinder there, and it keeps going faster and faster. And I, I want to see if I can see what where the device is that it's connected to that's doing this. Okay, it is it is down. So over here, mm-hmm. there are external batteries that are charging from the the pistons that are uh, firing up. Okay, and. Okay. They connect down near the bottom of the like the mile long uh, tunnel, and it actually seems to be connected into a lava flow from a volcano. Oh, what? okay. I actually have some skills that might be, help me understand what's going on here. I believe I've got geology. As a science skill. Okay. Sweet. 
of course, the last export of my character, but all the science skills say science skills, 15 or less, with no descriptor of what it is. <laughs> um, hold on, let me look on my... Ghost, can you make a perception roll? Uh, yep. Succeeded by four. Okay, you can hear the rumble of more destroids coming. Not destroids, uh, black talons. Oh, oh, that's why I got distracted and failed my roll. <laughs> <laughs> I will put that over the channels. Uh, more destroids. Uh, which direction? Black talons. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Uh, more black talons. Uh, uh, they're, so they're coming from the southeast. Um, basically, they're coming from St. Petersburg, which is about uh, five kilometers from where you guys are. Okay. Uh, can I hazard a guess as to their estimated time of arrival? You could go and meet them and cause havoc among them if you want. Uh yeah, but if they're like a minute away, uh, going to meet them right this instant might not be the smartest move. I don't know. Um, so I have no idea if they're two seconds away or two hours away. Well, they're definitely less than two hours. <laughs> and and probably longer than two seconds, yes. Well, since my awareness can go up to four, four, uh, 16 kilometers or something like that, um, can I try to make a perception roll to see how far away they are? And then I can project that to uh, Ghost so she can see it too? Sure. So they are just... They are probably um, less than 10 minutes away. Minutes. Okay, okay so we, we could conceivably finish our business here and be out within 10 minutes. Yes. Conceivably, and if, if not, maybe when they're three minutes away, you and I'll go mess with them and give these guys more time. Uh, yep, sounds like a plan. Um, Ghost, I presume, by now is finished with these. Uh, the old the ones? Four. Yep. yep. Okay, so uh, she'll come right beside the, uh, the opening. Of course. The, uh, now that those four guys are no longer in their uh, suits that provide them with life support, they are exposed to the elements. They better get in a car or something. <laughs> uh. There's no warm cars around here. Um, well, we've got minutes, so Sand Crab will jump over to this car, rip um. off the hood, it, I, it I, I, the car is damaged, right? Yes. All right. He'll activate a nanite swarm, <laughs> and he will have the nanites repair the car. Ooh. Ooh, that's awesome. You got to use it. All right, I'll take a time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. How does that work? Is it a transform? It is, yes, it's a transform versus only to repair things okay. that are broken. Ghost anticipating the plan will start to gather up the bodies and Sounds good. In or near the car so that when it's ready they'll be okay. Okay. So while you guys are doing that, um Hotshot, are you staying down in the same room? Yes, I am staying uh around Doctor Liz. Alright. Or scientist Liz. I expect it's warmer down there. And you too, Lysen? Uh, Lysen will ask uh, Lizzie Shu how long will this require? And once we are finished, will we need to return to Upside? Or can I return you to Homestead? I can, we, can, we can return to Homestead at a moment's notice. I need to know the time and what's going to happen next. So a lot of it's going to depend on how the pistons hold up. So it could take as much as 20 minutes before everything is fully authorized. Things are going really well right now, but I don't know how much longer that will continue. Okay. So, uh, is there an object that we need to retrieve from here? 
Is that the idea? It's the energy. If we can get this energy source working, the optimum thing would be for us to remove this complete silo. But I don't think we have the ability to do that. Unless you guys have some abilities that I'm not completely unaware of. SoundCloud might. Um, you, you mean the entire contraption, crane and all? Yes. Yeah, I could probably move it, maybe carry it, but I couldn't, like, without carry damage. it away. I mean... And without yeah. damage. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who cares if I... I mean, how much of it needs to be held intact? Well... We're wanting to use this as an energy source against Dr. Destroyer. Hold on, I've got an in incoming transmission from Division. You know what I Division. could do is I could take it straight down into the earth and put it in, in under the underground in like a, a big pocket. So I could like dig a huge tunnel around it, a swirling, you know, swirl a big tunnel under it, lower it down, and then close it again so that people would not be able to access it. They would may not even know where it is. That might work really well. There is a, a division plane that will be arriving in the next minute with okay. some other science guys and they've got a, a force dome that we can oh. put over things so while you're doing the digging Do we have an update on the position of the incoming uh, Black Talons? Oh, they're still like eight minutes out. Okay. So as she says, uh, a plane that looks very similar to the Explore plane that was destroyed, um, not quite, but very close, uh, comes in, cloaked, and lands, and uh, a bunch of... Um, science guys get off and uh, there's about 12 people on there um, eight of them are like marines and they're lugging equipment and they 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 ask for your assistance because this stuff is fairly heavy and they ask you to set up a perimeter um, about a hundred feet circle around this crane device and that's where we're going to project our dome Okay, is, uh, yeah. 25 meters, give or take? Um, yeah, actually, because meters are slightly more than three feet, that might be okay. Here, I apologize, so I've got to, got to run. Sorry? Right, right. I have Good to night. run. Oh, okay, because yeah. um, I'm, I'm about to, to wrap this up. Oh, okay. If you if you got just a couple more minutes, so they they set this uh, device up with your help, um, okay. Sandcrab. You can analyze the device. It creates uh, a protective dome, but it also creates an illusion of like snow. Okay, cool. Mm. So you you work on lowering the whole device down and then they put their illusion thing up um, ghost goes in and does a, an attack run on a, a bunch of these uh, black talons and then gets them to chase after her as she heads as a decoy away yeah, that sounds reasonable that allows time for you guys to complete what you're doing you lower the device into the the ground the um the dome thing makes it look like like there's a mountain of snow it's got images into it so that the some of the building stuff is still here but this particular um device is gone and that's it it is continuing to create energy um, megajoules worth of energy. Oh, what can we do with all this energy? <laughs> we can blow up the earth. 
No, not that. Mass vanishing. No, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was, that, was that my outside voice? Holy crap, what, the, the, what was I talking about? All right, um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the game, but that's oh, yeah. where we will end it. Very much. Yeah, thanks for running, man. Appreciate it. Okie dokie. Uh, all right, thanks, Sean. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to stop the recording now.